This is example problem 1.2-1. The problem states, if the diameter of the rod is 12 millimeters, determine the normal stress in the rod at B. Here's our structure. Here's the rod. And you can see there's a variety of external forces being applied. And we're going to calculate stress at B. I've set up my paper, labeled it uh, with the given information, which is the all the information that was in the problem, uh, find the normal stress at point B, and now we write our solution. The first thing I'm going to do is find the cross-section of the rod. Okay, I've calculated the cross-sectional area of my rod. You see that the diameter was given in units of millimeters. Uh, it makes sense in these problems where we're calculating stress to convert dimensions from millimeters into meters, so that's what I've done here. And in the SI units, you can see that this is a very uh, small number because we're working in units of meters squared. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is draw a free body diagram of this member, but I'm going to uh, put a theoretical cut in it at right at point B so that I can solve for the internal uh, resultant forces. Okay, I've drawn my free body diagram. Uh, I've cut the member at B. I've drawn all the external loads on the section to the right. Now I could have also drawn the section to the left. Either way, uh, I should get the same answer. Don't believe me? Try it. Okay, now we need our internal results of the loads here. Uh, that would be a normal, a shear, and a moment. Now we know the shear and the moment will be zero, so I will draw my internal normal resultant force. And I can find the magnitude of N, B, by summing forces in the x-direction. Okay, so our internal resultant load at point B is 1 kilonewton. Now for the final step, I can calculate the stress at point B. The stress at point B can be calculated by taking the internal normal resultant force NB and dividing it by the cross-sectional area at point B. Now you've noticed I've converted my units from 1 kilonewton to 1,000 newtons here on the top. Now if I were to calculate this, I would get a, a very large number. Uh, what I want to do is use the typical units for our stress in the SI system, which is megapascals, or a uh, million pascals, and a pascal is a newton per meter squared. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply this by 1 over 1 times 10 to the 6. Now my units will come out in units of mega newtons per meter squared or mega pascals. 8.84 megapascals is the stress at point B. And we're done.